So I was having dinner with a friend last week, and a question that came up in conversation was, what would you do if you had a boatload of money? The smart answer would have been something like, pay off my student loans, or give money to charities that end poverty and fight cancer. But when I was asked this question, my knee-jerk response was, I would go traveling. And I think that response is pretty indicative of how I feel about life right now. The longer I've been out of university, the less concerned I am about the ultimate destination, whether that be your dream job or your dream lifestyle. I think that the journey in getting there or not getting there is more interesting. When I think about my high school or college friends and what they said they wanted to do with their lives versus what they're doing now, the correlation between the two is fairly low. I posed this question to another friend recently who actually has a job in which she's applying her degree. And guess what her answer was? She said that if she had a boatload of money, she wouldn't do the job that she's doing now. In fact, she would do a different job every day, from running a coffee shop one day to party planning the next day. Basically, she wanted the freedom and flexibility to work on her passions. Passions. Plural. Unfortunately, we live in a society where the norm is that you choose one job to do. Your dream job. And the more focused the description of your dream job is, the more it seems like your future has some sort of direction. Now, I like seeing family over the holidays, but the part that I look forward to the least is when they ask those questions. You know which questions. So, what are you doing with your life now? And what do you plan to do with that down the road? Boyfriend? Marriage? Kids? <laughs> and in those moments, I feel compelled to answer specifically, because otherwise I'm just another directionless disappointment of a grandchild. The thing is, I don't feel directionless. In fact, I feel more centered now than I have in recent years. Not all those who wander are lost. I've been in the real world long enough now to know what I like and don't like doing. However, I don't want to narrow down my dream job to something like video editor at a successful online video company that specializes in educational entertainment. Saying that would limit myself and lead to disappointment if I didn't achieve that dream job. Even now, I'm discovering that I have this interest in things that I didn't really care for before. For example, this week I had a lighting workshop for one of my classes, and I sat there asking question after question. After the workshop, I was still asking the instructor questions about lighting. So much so that the TA actually asked me, are you looking to be a gaffer? Old Maya would have said no, but in that moment I was like, mm, maybe. By opening myself up to that possibility, I'm making myself more open to opportunities in the future where I'll need to apply that knowledge. And let me tell you, trained gaffers are highly desired on set. I'm not saying you shouldn't have dreams. Dreams are good. They give you a sense of direction. But it's okay if the path to that dream splinters off in different directions. Dreams shouldn't limit you. They should open you up to cool new opportunities. And to make that possible, your dreams have to be a bit more broad. And I know that's not what prospective employers want to hear, and you'll have to give them some specific answer for the purpose of a job interview. But for me personally, the most specific answer I can give to the question, where do you see yourself in five years, is I want to be producing moving images that are powerful enough to change at least one person's way of thinking. For me, it's about the how and why, and less about the what. To me, it's about the journey, not the destination. This talk was inspired by the discussion going on in the comments of this video, which you can check out by going to the link below. Hank Green did a phenomenal talk recently on how dreams should fuel you, not define you, which I'll also link below. I am genuinely interested to hear your thoughts on following your dreams. So if you'd like to continue the discussion, I'll be hanging out in the comments in my pants. Thanks for listening. Chris, I'll see you later this week. Video response. Ooh, yeah, we're doing a video response, even though YouTube hates it.